Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to Resonance Arcade. It's Monday night, and we are playing Metal Gear Solid 2. Uh, I might stop mentioning the, the, the days when we do these intros. Probably best not to, it, yeah. It doesn't matter, does it? I mean, I know no. we're, we're, we're launching these on Monday nights, but I get it wrong every week anyway, and... Um, doesn't matter. It'd get really confusing it when if you came to the video and it was like a Tuesday night or something. You'd be thinking, oh God. I well, mean, no, Chris, at least. Chris is normally right. At least. Uh, <laughs> maybe the day's wrong. At least at least if if I do that though, then that makes them aware when they're watching one of our videos that there's other videos to watch. Anyway, so we are playing part six, seven? Seven? I think it's part six now. Is it? It's every on. week, don't I? I think we might be on part seven. Anyway, oh. it's the last part of our. Um, Yo. It is part six because look at the saves. <laughs> Says ah, part five yeah. on there. Um, be, yeah. uh, we've just finished um, something. Escort mission. Just, yeah, just finished escorting Emma, everyone's favourite character in the Metal Gear Solid franchise. Yeah. Especially there's ours. A lot of, uh, there's, there's no question for me that this has got like the weakest characters out of the whole series in it. Enemies, I'm... protagonists, NPCs. I mean. Yeah. Oh. Shit, I forgot what I'm supposed <laughs> Just to go do. for it, Chris. Oh, the timer. So yeah, she got stabbed a bit by Vamp, Snake grabbed her, and now you've got to rush back to uh, Shell One Core. So you're in the parcel room right now. Oh, I was in here before, wasn't I? Yeah. So you do get to go in there later on. Shell One Core. So that's. Uh... Um, I would. I can't remember, mate. From this direction. It's right, isn't it? And I think you want to go. Yeah, you go. I think you go in the right direction, mate. In fact, I think this is the bridge you want to be on. There you go. It's all a bit knackered, though. A bit knackered. A bit knackered. You've been in and the northeast too long, mate. There's some robots flying around. Shoot the robots. Or just avoid them. Either or. Fats, yeah, you're probably best off shooting him because like the bridge is a bit destroyed, and I think you have to, um, you know, do a bit of what you would call it, haggy, crawly type stuff. I don't think we should entrust any stealth missions to Chris, to be honest. I've got a fucking slide silencer on. What else do you want? Oh my god, how shit am I with this? <laughs> <laughs> shit, shit. No. Fuck it. Just leg like it if you can. I don't even need to say anything, Chris. Fuck off. <laughs> South, still, yeah. Uh, no, no, you're going to chill one core, mate. You're going uh, west. The video's a bit cute, yeah. Yeah, it's gone bad for me as well. Take that, you stupid robots. Well, at least there's not enemies. The floor all knackered. Yeah. <laughs> Death number one. Oh. Saw that coming. Are we even a minute in yet? Shut up. <laughs> that was a that, that was a bad bad bit. I'm sorry. You can always just you can always just throw a chafe grenade and just leg it over the bridge. It's alright, Chris. Oh. It fits in with all the other bad bits you've done. The Shit video face. quality was quite poor then, but did did the bridge fall away? Or was the yeah, the paddle's already gone. Yeah, I got Rest. hit and then stopped and. Uh, all down. right. Um, nice. So if you leg it straight over, it should be all right. See, I had a recollection that those paddles stayed falling away once you went over them, but I must be remembering that incorrectly. Maybe, or maybe when you reload from a save, it resets them. Possibly, possibly. I've never one session to this game though. <laughs> Leg it! Oh my god. I <laughs> oh, should be able to make it. Plenty of time left on that. No, oh, some, of them, some of them had fallen away. Yeah. Shit. I dad didn't even look at them. Yeah, you're going to have to take out the, the drones and then go across carefully. They yeah. don't scream when he dies, they just ask where he is. I suppose you can't really shout Raiden as a single sort of... Raiden! 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 Yeah, I suppose you can actually. You just can, it, just, right. it doesn't sound as good as what you do with Snake for some reason. <laughs> Snake! Oh, 
Is there a reason they called him after the God of Lightning, or...? Um, not that I can remember. I don't know where the name comes from. It, there's some stuff about it in Metal Gear Solid 4, but it's a little bit waffly, like... nonsense, really. Is this because he's got long, light-coloured hair, so he looks a bit like... He gets a bit... Bear. He gets a little bit lightning in Metal Gear Solid 4, but he's not really in this game. Nicely done. Is there another one? Yep. Oh, you've got his name on now. It's Call of Duty skills. <laughs> Just be careful with the floor. Woo! Yeah. Can you just sidestep along? Yeah, you can just sidestep. Yeah, I, just, I was just getting my composure and trying to remember the controls. Can you get shot on now? Because it is another one of you know, the. Some, sometimes in this game, not always, you, the um, controls change depending on the camera angle. Yeah. I did oh, ask. It feels like it does. Oh. I know you did, but it didn't feel like it actually did that before, but it, I have noticed since that it does. Occasionally, what my, I'm not blaming um, it for anything. Definitely one of my bugbears from this generation of gaming is when it does that. Um, a lot of PS2 games had that problem. I think it's a side effect of the, the camera angles, really. It's, there's not much you can do about it with these sort of angles. I guess that's why they went for a traditional third-person view. Yeah, that's there right. is a sticker. Yeah, it is that way, heading towards the mines. Remember, you're basically going to uh, that room with the parrot in it, so you're heading to the lift. I think there's no guards around here as well. Just the occasional mine. This one? No, you're going to the no. lift. So you never get to go through that door. I thought you did at some point. I must have been remembering it all wrong. That might be where you go at the end. You don't. I can't, I can't you, remember. Don't you go from here, you just go down into Arsenal gear. And into the strange naked section of the game. Naked section? When it happens, you'll know. Believe me, you'll you'll know what it happens. Is there more tops coming off? Is that what is that what's going to go on? Everything's mm. coming off. Fairly <laughs> shortly. I mean, that suit doesn't really leave a lot to the imagination, so I feel like I've seen it all already. Yeah, you kind of have butt crack. Yeah. <laughs> got a good butt on him, though. How's Emma? I think he got. Might just yeah. be padding. You heard that, yeah. Can't stop the bleeding. She's gonna die. <laughs> Oh, this is where we get to see some of Al, uh, Otacon's awesome crying as well. It's just... Did it's he cry just, way? Emma set everything up. He just... Uh, we've already told you that he cries like in every game. Yeah. Apart from Metal Gear Solid 3 because he's not in that one, but uh, so uh, he just he cries all about the time. That as well. Yeah. He cried because he wasn't in it. The virus in yeah. The AI. <laughs> is it working? Just oh, look at that. Is it Windows? Blue screen. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> an antibody agent? Damn. Don't. The connection has been cut. Is the virus upload complete? I don't think so. The count stopped at 90%. Otacon, I don't think I'll be enough. Mistakes, but a portion of the worm cluster might have been altered after the disc left Emma's hands. Life putting too much air in a balloon. Sorry, whenever someone says like a bunch of science no speak idea. or techno speak, I just think of that from Future Armor. <laughs> How is. Is everything alright? Nope, you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> it's alright. Snake just went. All right. <laughs> yeah. Nope, fuck me. It's like Otacon needed him to tell him that as well. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. He's shot in his stomach as well. A bad place to get shot. Uh, stabbed. Oh, stabbed in his stomach. What is the both, both work? pretty bad. Either destroy that thing or take out solid. I think I'd rather be shot. How do we get on board? Uh, I don't. Well, in general, or in the stomach. Unless somebody uh, um, inside gives us a hand. I don't know, getting... In general. In general, I think. I mean, I don't know, because I haven't been either of them. So. I, don't, well, I, I really couldn't say on that one. What is it? I would say that um, 
If you get shot, then it'd be fine as long as you don't get an exit wound, in which case you're not going to be around for long. But then if, you get, if you get stabbed, there's always a case of it where it might not hit any organs. It doesn't always. Mm. It's not guaranteed to. <clears throat> it's just Thanks. I'd rather not have either if I had my druthers, to be honest with you. <laughs> we didn't get a content match on last week's um, Cinemathon that I uploaded on YouTube for some reason. Every other week we've had Cinemathon. one. Cinemathon? You know, it was, there was loads of cutscenes last week, wasn't there? Oh, right, right. All right. Is that what it matches then? The cutscenes. It it's visual content, yeah, it's matching. Yeah. It's, not, it's not matching audio on these ones. In fact, we haven't had any audio matches yet because one, we, we use our own stuff, and two, it's our voice mostly. Yeah. Unfortunately. <laughs> and game, I, I don't think game composers are as uh, ar ardent, is that the right word for it? As um, they're, they're not as stringent with the copyrights as uh, publishers yeah. and, you know, rock music. It depends, it depends, it depends, who, um, it depends who publishes them, doesn't it? If, if... Yeah. Plus there is like a, a sort of culture of Let's Plays on the internet in general, so a lot of that stuff's got to be getting out there. Through that, so it's going to be happening all the time. I would yeah, think. there's um, there's new things in a lot of the terms and conditions of certain games now that, that specifically state whether you can or can't let's play them or stream them. Really? They added, they, yeah, they added it to Minecraft and stuff because there was there was That's a big hoo ha about Minecraft. That basically, someone had put in the terms and conditions that you weren't allowed to stream it. Dead. And obviously, well, the Minecraft yeah. streaming is massive. Not quite as emotional as the Ares death, death, but it's not. Elma. No. Oh, she's dead. Eyes are up, no. Oh, she is dead. Oh, he's, he's going to do the to he's going to do the eye thing, isn't he? To be fair, actually, even though she's not the best, the great character, I thought that was quite a nice touch. Like she grabbed the glasses and then dropped down, dropped her hand down, dead. He doesn't that's use quite... him. Doesn't use him yeah, from now on, does he? That's quite a nice little moment, though, just as a, a sort of acting moment within the, the game. Stop giving it credit. For me, to be fair, the best like on-screen death I've ever seen. Has anyone seen um, L.A. Confidential? Mm -hmm. No. Have you seen that? Have you seen yeah, it, yeah. Lou? No, I haven't seen it. Oh, I can't really tell you what it is without spoiling a really important part of it. It's a long time since I've seen it. I've seen it, I've seen it twice. Is Guy Ritchie in it? Do you care if I spoil it for you, Lou? No, not really. I it's... think I've started to watch Kevin... it and I didn't like just... it. It's Kevin Spacey, isn't it? Yeah, Kevin Spacey's in it and he, he does die at some point in it and he gets shot and he just like sits down in the chair. And he just goes from having a conversation to somebody to just being dead, and it, it just does it really well. Yeah. It just seems like a very uh, convincing and it's quite a ugh, kind of unsettling like death because it's done so well. They, they, they rarely get death right in this stuff. Like, they, they, you know, and it, I was expecting to do the eye closing thing, which is mm. uh, such a cliche. You've got I've full crying watched... going on here, guys. You're not paying any attention to the, the full crying of Otacon. Yeah, well, he cries all the time. Do you know what I mean? They have to have a woman <laughs> die in Metal Gear so Otacon can cry over her. Like it's just, but I fortunately never actually <clears throat> physically watched a human being die in front of me, so I don't know exactly what happens. I've never really seen it. Well, yeah, but, but you still you, know. you still know that the, the the stuff that happens in, in, in films, movies and, 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 and games and stuff. Yeah, I mean, even like, yeah, it's it's just it's just wrong. But I guess. It kind of has to be to be cinematic, and like everything's wrong. Like if someone has a cough in a movie, they're going to die in the movie. Yeah, and people <laughs> pe people uh, wake up from CPR in movies. No, they don't in real life. <laughs> if they if they if they aren't dead from the CPR, like if, if they are survived the CPR, they're still probably going to be like in a coma or something, or completely yeah. unconscious and on the very very edge of death. Why is he hugging his bird there? He was a bird of some sort. Like oh, because the bird starts going, Hal, Hal, and that makes you cry even sick. more. Because it was her parrot, and she obviously kept talking about him to the parrot. So the parrot. That bird would have shit. It'd be flying around the room now, shitting and everything. Is that so what parrots do? Yeah. That's, not, that's not true. Parrots are actually highly intelligent, and they're very, very. Um, they get very attached to their owners. Uh, you have the, I've done this thing about them where like parrots live for about as long as humans do. They can live for about 80 years. Mm. So if you say if I was to buy a parrot now at the age of 30 and then I die in like another 30 odd years and the parrot lives on for ages, it might not ever like another person that takes after it. Like if I have to pass that parrot on to somebody else, it might hate them for another 20 years. They usually get attached to one person and stay attached to them for the rest of their life. I like so that. So they're actually, 
they're actually very emotional and attached creatures, parrots, to their owners. I kind of get the feeling there's a bit of Helsinki syndrome going on there, and the fact that they're kept in a cage for 50 years oh or something. God, take care of the and they've got no choice but to like. It's, it's probably to do with. They, I don't know what they in the wild if they you mate mean, for life. It's probably to do with that. Oh, the term's gone. It's not Helsinki. It is, isn't it? Um, Stockholm. Stockholm. Isn't the hell? Oh, well, there's two, isn't there? Well, um, Stockholm syndrome Stockholm. Is, is usually when you've got a captive person and they who, fall, they sort of yeah, fall. kind of sympathises yeah. with their captor. Yeah. Oh. Got it. Yeah, because you know what? You know, you're doing the diehard mistake. I'm doing the diehard thing, huh? That's exactly <laughs> what they do. You're on, you're on that talk Fuck. show in Die Hard, and they're like, "Oh, it's the hell." It's in Stockholm, Finland. <laughs> Sweden. <laughs> Helsinki. Is that actually a thing then, a Helsinki syndrome? I think I've never heard of it. Maybe it is. Maybe I think it, it might Helsinki be the other way around. I might think it might be the the captors falling in love with the captives or something like Maybe that. that's Helsinki. It's not in it's love, not... it's just it's just sympathising with generally. No, it's love. It's lo Helsinki it's, everything's syndrome. love about you with you, isn't it? It's love or hate, there's no in between. There's not <laughs> there's only two emotions you are capable of. <laughs> Try to get as many hostages out as you can. <laughs> That's alright, send the mentally unstable one to go and rescue the hostages. With his fucking. where he's crying with a parrot on his shoulder. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> fucking... It's Captain Up and Otacon here to save you. <laughs> but crying at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> it's Captain Otacon! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh look at this! The bro shake. Ah! <laughs> yeah, that... The slow motion cabbage being chopped as well at the same time. <laughs> Just so you know, um, according to Urban Dictionary, Helsinki syndrome is being a bit of an idiot and getting your syndromes mixed up. <laughs> yes. It's called Die Hard. <laughs> That's brilliant. I'm glad, I'm really glad that Sam and I didn't just go, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that was it at the end of the con. I can't help it, I've seen Die Hard so many times that something about that has just pinged in my head when you said Helsinki's intro. I did know that Helsinki was in Finland though. Well, I'm not, I'm, hey, cool. I, I do know where the, the, the places are. I just got my syndromes mixed up because I'm a bit of an idiot. But anyway. Oh god! This is so ridiculous. What, what are you doing? Oh it's, right. He's just cried. He just cried a bit. Doing a bit more, more crying. I don't, you know what? His sister's just died. I'll let him off a little bit, but he needs to shut up. He's on a mission. Yeah, this is the kind of shit where, like, Kashima just needs to, like, edit it out. We got his upset. You can easily what just cut to fucking, like, Snake and Raiden now and be like, let's get on with that bit. Hal's gone off. He's crying his eyes out. We got it. It's not, you don't have to show us any more of that shit. We've already got it. But <laughs> I've got another 67 hours to fill before the end of the game. <laughs> He's got to talk about it now for a fucking over a sunset image of the big shell. But then again, there's also the argument that some films or some um, games ignore the relationships and don't go into the details. So I'm not. I think it just draws it out a little bit too long, doesn't it? Yeah, there's a there's a there's like a fine line between exploring something and just over egging the pud. And as we said, as we said last uh, last episode, this is a he, also, he also repeats himself a lot as well. Yeah, yeah. I wish I knew that sooner. Like I say, you just could do with someone to just to do a bit of script editing. But this is something again that I've I've noticed in certain kinds of sort of Japanese narrative. Like, have you ever tried to watch Dragon Ball Z? No. No. It's ridiculous. Like they, they'll say, okay. "Let's have a fight," and they'll be like, "Do you remember when we were kids?" And can I just, just like, can I just punch him? Can I just be clear that you weren't, you were actually going to finish you, that word then, weren't you? You can come out now. What word? What? You said it's ridiculous. You were going to finish that. It's just that you happened to move no, it one of the sentence. You weren't going to use the the term ridic as yeah. as is the. Who me? Yeah, I'm it's sure a, I said ridiculous. No, no, you said it's ridic. Or at least that's all I heard anyway. It cut out. What's this all about? Did I cut myself off to go into another sentence? Maybe. I, I thought, but Maybe. I'm just checking that you weren't abbreviating ridiculous to ridic because I'm, I will not be your friend if you do that. <laughs> no, no, that, This is the I'm, end of our relationship if you start using those kind of short bastardizations. I have totes against doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, fucking oh, fucking hate totes. Ooh. Oh, hello. Ooh. This is who the ninja was Ooh. all along. Watch. Ooh. Oh! I said it was her. Yeah. Well, you played the game before you, Vic. You what? You should know. I forgot. 
It's all good. Yeah. Look at I, I actually don't know what was going on then. I was talking over yeah. all of this. Uh, they sort of said that Olga and Snake were working together after the after the planter, the the planter, the tanker uh, <laughs> bit. You're doing what I do now. <laughs> yeah, no, I can't help it. Oh. And now the final machinations are revealed. After all yeah. that with the bombs, it was all going to fucking fall in the ocean anyway. Why bother? Yeah, that that's a real kick in the teeth, isn't it? Here you go, here's a pointless <laughs> bomb <laughs> retrieval mission. This is pretty cool, though. These water effects for their time. Now then, I, I, I remember seeing the thing where they wanted to originally do the, you know, the, the tanker sinks. They wanted to originally have a section where you're being chased by water. And that a lot of that water animation they did there was from that section of the, uh, the tanker. But they cut it out. I think they couldn't get the programming right for it or something. I don't know. Or it was too expensive. I haven't actually played the game for... I know. 20 minutes Jack, or so. Are you reading me? You literally you to walked to Shell One Core and then haven't done anything since. You're going to say something then, Rose, when he saves it this time. I, I was going to say, you probably is this, say. Is this where it starts? This is where the proper head fuckery is going to get going now, yeah. This is where we need to pay attention because I want to actually try and take in what's going on this time round. You won't be able to. We we are going to talk over it because yeah, you know what I mean. Oh, is he still alive? Flashbacks. Or is it? Including the genome data, but there's nothing on this guy. NSA, CIA, FBI. He doesn't exist in any database. He's a non-existent operative from a non-existent organization. I suspected as much. However, I know this man. Hmm? Wake him up. There it goes. Yeah. There's the first bit of... Huh? Yeah. That was solid as saying that, by the way, if it's you just, didn't get that. It's just the look. first bit, but it's the first bit where it really starts to hit you how much they're, like, drawing on the first game. It's been a while, hasn't it? Jack the Ripper. Jack the Ripper? You know this fellow? You remember me, don't you? You've grown. He's about to, he's about to choke you, yeah. High concentration of cerebral implants. Have they altered your memory, too? I do want some of the suits that they wear. Not that one. Uh, the, the, te <laughs> the technical <laughs> things like would be annoying. Yeah, it looks like a really dodgy song. Oh, oh here we go. I can't I'm angle down. Everything. No, you can't. Can you zoom in on this when you press R1 and it zooms in or something on the camera I, the shots? No, I can on the... Um... <laughs> I never thought I'd see you again. <laughs> I can on the... Uh... Proper naked. <laughs> on oh, the I can't. Uh, 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 no, I can't. You don't remember. Ryden? Right, no, the skills. him. Everything Fuck this. Ocelot, Ocelot. Ocelot. I'll be with all. The 80s. He's just wearing an ah, eye patch for the fun of it, isn't he? He doesn't need it. This is where you get a bit of uh, Raiden's backstory. Yeah. So he was, at, he was actually a child soldier, so they say he's a rookie. He's actually not a rookie. He's been fighting in war since he was a child. He just doesn't remember any of it. Jack the Ripper. Jack is in the uh, it's in Africa. Uh, I, I, I can't remember which country they sure they say. The relief center. I wondered what happened to you. This is I interesting. They would I think this is interesting. Right when Ryder's backstory gets revealed, it sort of it is a bit of a woo, you weren't expecting it. It's yeah. an interesting coincidence. If he's a lackey for the Patriots, I doubt he knows anything of interest. What should we do with him? Put some we clothes on. Use him like you suggested. What about Dead Cell? Ignore them. Wish we could. <laughs> <laughs> My hand! Liquid's not happy about that, is he? Uh. Happening again? Could it be that he's here too? 
They're playing the pronoun game, aren't they, a little bit? He? Who's he? Just fucking say who you mean. I'd be religious. Huh? Yeah, exactly. How about the troops? The men are being refitted with Arsenal gear equipment as ordered. Mentioned GW then, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah. Is that GW's, the first time they've yeah. mentioned it? No, I think we just talked over it because that's what their uh, Emmer Emmerich's whole point was to make the um, the virus that was shut down GW's sort of AI operating system thing. Is that so? Perhaps I should be grateful to this kid for that. Yeah, he just got a shot of his crotch then, and it was just smooth. <laughs> yeah, actually, really? <laughs> yeah, just it's accidentally got a shot of his crotch. I find it very you were looking for that. I wasn't. I just happened to look at his crotch <laughs> at that moment. Happened, happened, happened to look. look. Happened to look. It was um, Ocelot moved to the right slightly. We're also inside the memory of Shadow. It's the HD remake. You're seeing things you would never have seen in the traditional version. I'll take this back. You don't need this anymore, do you? I don't even remember getting that. When, when, when did you get that? A foul wind. Um, a while back. Got ages ago. Yeah. Olga just wanted to come and oogle, didn't she? She's not doing much oogling, look. She will do in a minute. Stay as you are. We're being monitored by a camera. What are you up to? Exactly the same interrogation room, you know. I'm switching over to Nana Is it? Yeah. And so the, the the place where Otacon was looked like the place where you fight the, the fought the ninja as well in the first game. Mr. X? Ninja? Yeah, yeah, that Correct. really does actually. It's me. I thought you were the leader of the Russian troops. No. Does that it explain the how this actually a works then? Screen? Is it like a mind thing or? Yeah, a, right at the very beginning of the first game, he says it. It um, no. vibrates the bones in your, in your ears. So I, only you can hear it, but that doesn't explain how they can see each other's faces and how and they can child. talk and not be heard by other people in the room the because yeah. they're still it talking no that's I never explained it it's totally tanker incident my mm. men and uh, i had no incongruous with everything else so we joined forces with an illegal russian organization the russian mafia something like you could have just quit being soldiers and got a job in a bakery or something there was always that option it had to go be like patriots. mercenaries for whatever at the time when i gave <laughs> birth to my child it turned out I was in a hospital run. You are my offspring. In the morning, my child was gone. My the child is pretty important. Somewhere in yeah. this country. Have you ever met your child? No. Once a month, they send me a photo of my child via network. What I network? I even held the child in my own arms. Uh, I see. The network. Given your situation, nobody can blame you for what you did. That's your opinion. What about Snake? He's very calm, isn't he, for just about being to get executed? Just probably under some sort of tranquilizers. Isn't he? I was going to look in his nice eyes. Tasty Two years opiates. Ago, they were for getting us out of the sinking tanker alive. Well, there you go. See. So you were partners since the incident? No, I only found out the truth shortly before this. Huh? When I confronted him here. You fought with Snake when? Well, it was around the time you were holding hands with that girl. Snake. What? I thought there were separate... I thought there were separate... storylines, like, two years apart. So you joined hands with him to pay back... Yeah, debt. but she said no, that she wasn't... She was... Mutual wasn't with game. Snake, she met Snake. With the joint, when you, when, when you were escorting Emma, she encountered Snake, had a bit of a fight, and then joined him. <laughs> right, yeah, yes, you do. That's what, that's what, that's what she just <laughs> said. Oh, let's be mates. My child. <laughs> yeah. My child's life depends on your success. So you did it all for your child. But why would the Patriots want to help me? I yeah, he's doped up. Take Solidus out. Look at those yeah, people's eyes. You're just like me. We're just pawns. pawns he's smacked up to the gills. The S3 plan. Do you think he took his own claws off randomly? They've got the same yeah. shaped eyes. That's why I look girly. What do you mean? Listen, we have I heard all the cats got the same shaped eyes in this game. Just the standard eye model shape. What about the virus? No results so far. I think the Patriots have tampered with the program. Will it work? I don't know. Get me out of this thing. Not yet. I'll release your restraints after I leave this room. Where's my gear? Snake's got everything. I couldn't bring it here. And where do I yep. find Snake? Ah, Steve's just texted me. He says he's just got in now. 
The passageway ahead leads to okay. the hangar. Love you, stay. Tough, tough titties. The snake plan to destroy arsenal gear? No, even for snake, it's impossible to completely destroy this thing. The he killed one before. Stop Solidus and his men. Oh. What are you going to do? Stay concealed. That's my role. I still can't afford to be discovered. Olga, you can't keep this up. They're bound to find you. Listen, I'll free you in a little while. Brace yourself. Oh. That was hard. No need for that, was there? Fucking hell. She's just kicking her nuts. Vibrated my control pad and everything. I think she punched him in the stomach. Yeah. I'd rather think it wasn't the nuts. That seems a little excessive. <laughs> She said, "Brace yourself. You can't really brace your nuts, can you?" <laughs> you suck them in. You can at least tense your torso to take the impact. You can't tense your nuts. <laughs> Speak for yourself, <laughs> Sam. Lightning. Those restraints oh, yeah, aren't okay. something you can remove yourself. Have faith in Olga and wait for her to deactivate them. Yeah, I think you have to just wait. Wait for the next. dead now, isn't he? Uh, yeah, dead as. Shouldn't but find that finding, funny. But you remember finding his uh, his floating body in the in the like the flooded section. Just take a while for the codex to start. Jack, are you all right? Mm. Oh, uh, yeah. Jack, is it true what Solidus said? Yes. It's unbelievable. Drafting small dead children, eyes. sending them to war. It's not allowed under international conventions. ICC rules don't mean a lot in war. Someone told me that there are over 300,000 children in combat right now. I was just one of them. So you remember? I thought your memory had been manipulated by them. Mm. It was, but I have nightmares every day. Pieces of the past I can't put together. Why didn't you tell me? You couldn't begin to understand. Because you wouldn't know I that say. until you tried. <laughs> You're gonna spoil something, man. I didn't want you to get hurt. I might have done. <sighs> there was never a real reason for me to fight. Probably would have been wrong though, because I can't remember any. Hand. Basically, about the end of this <laughs> game, I just remember it goes mental. It was him. Yeah. And it's not far off. Fault. This is where the mental stuff if is going to begin. If I survived the day's fight, I was praised, fed, and had a bed to sleep in. I think I was only six when I held my first AK, but I'm not even sure of that. Jack. I'm not like Snake. I never questioned why we fought. There was no purpose, no way out. They give you a gun, you ask how many to kill. If you didn't, all of them. The one they shot instead. It's okay. No one is blaming yeah. you. We were shown Hollywood action films every day. The kind with macho guys and big guns. They call that's it awesome. image training. Uh, they, that's, that's my they childhood, though. Yeah. Into killing machines. We were fed once a day. Mine was spent trying to figure out how I could get Barbarella on VHS off the top shelf of me me mum's video collection so I could watch it when no one was in. Oh my god. <laughs> have you seen that film? Yeah, of course I have. Oh my Fucking god. awful. It is terrible, and especially the... What is it? The, what do they call it? It's when they make love in the future. They just hold the hands next to each other or something. It's ridiculous. I don't even remember. I remember that Duran Duran from that. Hmm. Yeah. But nothing's changed. The only people who have no problem with my past have they have one of those weird futuristic sex scenes in uh, Demolition Man as well, don't they? Yeah, with the, the sort of virtual... The virtual the Oculus, <laughs> Oculus Rift fucking... I'm afraid of the night. That's why I don't sleep next to you. They both plugged the Oculus Rift into each other. Me. South Park did an episode about the Oculus Rift. The last one was about killer, just that. It's quite amusing. I suggest you check it out. No, yeah, I'll have to check no. it out. What Apparently, the, um, anything else in the, world the, the, the guys at Oculus Rift for a date answered all of the, um, the, the, uh, met the kind of support <laughs> requests to Steve or something, which is part of the advert, the, part of the, the episode. For this mission. Yeah. There's some nod to it, yeah. That's right. Down, except me. Yeah. I've been kept alive this long for this. I knew as soon as I saw Solidus. Jack, I love you the way you are now. You have to believe me. Does he? I 
didn't know anything about you. I admit that. Where you were born, how you grew up. But I know that now. And I know that what I feel for you can only get better. And I'll share in your past if that's the price. <laughs> it doesn't work that way. No one can share the burden of what I've done. It's not one of those warm and fuzzy things. Coming across quite share. sexist, aren't I? Quite misogynistic against this this one particular girl in That's this game. You for you she's love. been annoying for the entire game. I, I think she's to it's justified to be anyone. honest. Yeah. To about it. Yeah, and if I... two other blokes say that, then it's definitely the, the, justified. Then it's not sexist <laughs> if you're being if you're being annoyed <laughs> by characters I've obviously done. penned by men to be uh, yeah. women. Maybe yeah. I, don't, I, don't, I wouldn't know. A little bit of that. It's been more than I've ever hoped for. But Fortunately, there is an farther. awesome female character in Metal Gear Solid 3 I called The Boss, who is genuinely mint. I, I <laughs> uh, Rose, not so I much. Olga, see, Olga's quite cool. I quite like Olga. There's no way She's a bit more of a fucking down-to-earth, just get shit done type of person. Not crying about shit all, all right, the time. Jack, please, don't say <laughs> He's just dumped her, I think, by the way. Has he? I think he did. Oh, He just said, oh. he just said I can't. He basically says like, he can't like, have a normal wife, given the things that he's done. He's basically just said, I remember I, I've got flashbacks of Solidus basically taking him on as a kid and being a sort of surrogate father to him, but a father who just taught him how to kill better. So he's like, I'm going to go and kill Solidus, basically. Chris, you're going to have to go and find a node now and update your Facebook status. You need to be, it's complicated. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this is the bit where you have to run around with with your hands over your nads, and even when you do, <laughs> even when you punch, he punches with one hand and leaves one hand over his nads. Because <laughs> life or death situations aren't quite as important as covering your nuts. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, there's the there's the game rating to consider as well, isn't there? You know. <laughs> that's, quite good, that's quite good, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty funny. Yeah. Could have done this Sims thing, couldn't they? And just had a big, big kind of mosaic floating in front of his nuts. Well, they do that in the bum, don't they? On the Oh, Metal, Metal Gear Solid, Solid 1. One. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, this one, though. Like this one, though, you've got full ass action going on here. <laughs> <laughs> With loads of really weird tattoos on him as well. I always thought the tattoos were really strange. Hmm. They're like little barcodes and things, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Right. Here we go. Poor old Ryan. Here we his go. body, his body gets put through the rigor in these games. Oh, here we go. I need to Listen to the sneak. colonel. He was never factored into the simulation. Leave him out of this. <clears throat> I can't do much naked, especially in this temperature. That's true. You won't be able to attack or enter the hanging mode either. I think Snake has my gear. Raiden, take out Solidus and his men. You must recover Arsenal intact. Oh, he's going all fuzzy. Are you under orders mm -hmm. from the Patriots? Your role, that is, mission is to infiltrate the structure and disarm the terrorists. My role? Keep watching his face as well. Why do you keep saying that? Why not? This is a type of role-playing game. The point is that you play out your part, and I expect <laughs> you to play a perfect performance. Colonel, yes. I just remembered something. Well, I'm playing, so obviously it's not going to be perfect, is it? I've never met you in person. Not He's once. never met the Colonel in person. What? Complete He's commanding officer. According to the simulation. Colonel, who are you? No more questions. We have rosemary. What do you mean by that? Over and out. We've got some lamb, and we've got some rosemary. <laughs> and we we know have how rosemary, to and if you don't want any, then you better complete this mission. <laughs> I prefer thyme or basil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so like, get up the stairs is probably your best bet, obviously, without getting spotted. But yeah, you're going up the stairs to the north end of this room, and then north to the northeast exit. Mm -hmm. Shit. Oh God! I tell you what, oh, you just about... don't do that there. <laughs> this is—it always happens when you go up the stairs. It always happens. This is where he tells you to turn off the console. Turn the I think. Game console off yeah. right now. What did you say? The mission is a failure. Cut the power. Imagine right you now. don't know this is coming, though. This is. Don't worry. It's yeah, a... yeah. I was like, what should I? Usual. Should I actually turn turn it off? So close to the TV. What are you talking about? Miles away. Right. Something happened to me last Thursday when I was driving home. <laughs> I had a couple of miles to go. I looked up and saw a glowing orange object in the sky to the east. It was moving very irregularly. Suddenly, there was intense light all around me. And when I came to, I was home. What, what is going on? To me? It's 
going mental. Fine. We told you. So it. It Believe me, it gets worse. It gets more mental. <laughs> Oh, they're going to keep calling you forever as well. It's up to you how many you listen to. Yeah, I'll listen to a few of them just to show Lou, but Some of them I, I, I have went through all of them. Yeah, me too. Limits. I just can't leave this thing up to you any longer. I'll do the fighting. You can just go home. Um. So you want to go up and then to your left. So you head up on the, on the left-hand side of the room. I think it's easier. There's a camera somewhere along. Uh, I can see like grids underneath the characters. It's yeah, like... when he runs, there's like a grid on. The, it's like a, things appear on the floor. This this whole Arsenal gear section is really fucking weird. Like, it's almost like it's not real. Huh? What was that just now? Or the the whole big shell thing's not real, and this is where you've been the whole time. Like, it's really weird. It it really. Makes you think about what, which parts of this experience have actually happened to Raiden, and which parts haven't. Variety level thirteen. That's Meryl that was on the floor there. The yeah, this is the um, this is from the Metal Gear Solid like extended uh, side missions that you could get. Metal Gear Solid Integral, I think it was called. It was just a load of VR missions. hard to get around these guys yeah but it is the last sort of sneaky section of the game so it is a bit difficult oh he's over there now yeah oh no oh bollocks shit just like it because these guys are all like ninja flippy style <laughs> We've got RCP-90s, or whatever they're called, RCP-90s. Shit, can't get over there, can I? Bollocks. No. Oh, I'm so fucked. Oh, stairs. I'm not sure if you can get out of this area in alert mode, because you're right near the exit there. <laughs> oh, you're, gonna, you're gonna die. Sorry, mate. Up in the air. That was quite undignified, wasn't it? That's how dead people, <laughs> naked people die in this game. Yep. Right, so how can I get around these guys? Maybe I was wrong. Maybe you don't want to stay on the left. Maybe you should avoid that camera and just. No, it, it was my fault. I ran into the camera like a knob. Yeah. I seem to remember that's the route I took. I mean, you can go anywhere you want. I'm just trying to remember the easiest route, which I think is the way. I sent you. You can't always go up to a guard, punch him, and then run past him. He'll sort of wake up and go, huh? I mean, that's a good place what? to stand. Caution mode. What does it matter in this stage? Because you're going right to the end of the game anyway. Oh. Honestly, though, you have played the game for a long time. Don't you have anything else to do with your time? No, thank you. You're not. For a best, I'll just put. Oh, no, never mind. That's how you do it. Yeah, this last guy, because you're going out of the room, you're headed over to the right. No, no, back up the bridge, mate. Back up there. Sounds gone really loud. Yeah, it's because Chris isn't talking. Uh, the, the... Shit. Shit! Just, just see if you can get out of the room. You go into that room to the right. See if you can get there. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Just nice. crawled out there the you room. go. You're through. You're through. Oh yeah, they're all made of the body parts. So you're now in the ascending colon. Now this section, um, you just have to wait in this room and snake will appear eventually. Infiltrate. And that's uh, Metal Gear Solid. Metal Gear Solid. Metal Gear, yeah. isn't it? Metal Gear that's One or Two. First, that's, that's Metal Gear, the original Metal, Metal Gear footage. And this would be callbacks to it, I imagine. I haven't played the game, so... I've played a bit of it. Should really have done that as well, shouldn't we, as part of the series? Yeah, well, that'll be a... Oh! Ooh. Hello, hello. Even my patience has its limits. Group video update is unavailable at the moment. Any longer. 
Yeah, I had that as well. Yeah. Hopefully it's still recording okay. Yeah, yeah, it's all working fine. It's uh, turning off video and turning it back on. You do the same with you guys. I just turned it on. I've not got video turned on as it is. Oh, the screen share stopped as well. Yeah, I've not got I've not got your you guys on screen anymore. Checking subscription. What? Eh? Great, great timing on this Skype. God good, damn good. it! Can you pause the game? Right, guys, we will be back very shortly. I'm uh, sorry about this. Hello, everybody. Sorry about that. We had some technical difficulties with Skype yet again. Thank you very much, Microsoft. You awesome bastards. Um, <laughs> and here we go. <laughs> it's off now, aren't they? Yeah, you guys. Um, you guys just missed. Something was popping up in the top right-hand corner of the screen. So I'm going to start it again. Okay. Pay attention. Oh yeah. What was that? It was a girl, Japanese girl. An anemone or clematis plant's juice can cause a rash. <laughs> when pruning them, it's a good idea to wear gloves. Now you know. Yeah, it only goes. It's only there so you answer a call of the colonel. In Perhaps fact, he's... I think you're best off answering the calls because I think yeah, it's a certain call that triggers snake appearing. Yeah, I'll, I'll answer them. I'm just going to have a look at the other end of this. Yeah, yeah. They do start to repeat as well, but then there's a certain call that like, triggers the next part of the game. Actually, there is something I've been meaning to tell you, but I just couldn't. I think you should know, though. On Saturday morning last week, I saw a guy leaving Rosemary's room. How should what I the? put it? It was like they were intimate. I'm sorry. Sorry to bring this up during the mission, but... <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. This is the one that's it's important. Me. Hi, Rose. Jack, I owe you an apology. If it's about that conversation just now, I'm the one who's sorry. No, it's something else. What is it? That day at Federal Hall two years ago, it wasn't a coincidence. I was ordered to keep an eye on you. Keep an eye on me? Yes, by the Patriots. <gasps> the blooming Patriots again! I suppose. Yes, it's an ugly word. She accentuated that all wrong. There? Was sleeping with me a part of the job? I fell in yep. love with you. How could anyone? I can't excuse what I did. I've reported every detail of your personal life to them these two years. What you did, said, everything. Must have been fun. But some things <laughs> I didn't tell anyone. <sighs> some like, things. Like that little mole that so you've got on your you willy. Involved in this mission. <laughs> should have known. Why else would they toss an analyst into the mix at the last minute? I'm sorry. I know what I did was wrong. No matter where I go, I get used. I reinvented yes, myself to suit your tastes. Hairstyle, clothes, the way I moved, things I talked about. You say you love the color of my hair, my eyes. They're not even real. There's, there's, a, real there's, a, there's a film that's got this kind of same plot at the end, you know, like... I'm trying to think of it now, it's... Great performance. Uh, yeah. It's there's one where she... Uh, it's sesame seed. And he puts on his arm at one point. Um, he's, he's allergic to sesame seeds and he's worried that she's going to kill him. And he, he uses a fork to, on his arm to cut himself and then puts like rubs some sauce that she's made for him on his arm and I can't remember the name of the film. Oh, I think I remember that. That sounds familiar, man. Is that Memento? So it was no, that's, that's, that's with that's the um, tattoos, isn't it? But he does he does use a physical thing to remember that. Yeah, but the um there's also a subplot in the Memento with the um the, the guy and his wife. Are you sure it's not yeah. Memento? Now you said it. No, it's not Memento. I've seen that film a lot of times. Yeah, it's some, uh, that thing about doing that, that, that sounds really familiar, like I've seen that as well. It feels like it's Edward Norton doing that. It's Antitrust. 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 Who's, who's in that? Who's, who's the main guy? Uh, that name sounds familiar as well. Antitrust is that, um... Alright. It's alright, Antitrust. It's a bit... It feels a bit low budget, but it's I quite liked it. I understand. It's a lot I don't mind it being. I don't mind it being low budget if it's like what? entertaining. I'm. 
I Plenty of high budget being... stuff is fucking awful. <gasps> what the? What? Rose, what's going on? Hmm. Preggers, but with a really weird, distorted voice. <laughs> Amazing how you walk around like that. Snake. Not right now, Snake. Been waiting long. Yeah, there he is. Full oh, fucking gear. Proper, proper, That's proper the fat boy moment, that, innit? <laughs> With his bandana and everything. Fucking blowing. And his turbo mullet. He's fucking... Look at the ass! My He's wearing a thong! <laughs> right over there. <laughs> right over there. I have the same crush on Snake as I do with Sh Sean That's Bean. Like <laughs> they look a bit alike, don't they, in this game? There. Oh, but actually, yeah. Yeah. There you go. If you want to cast the Metal Gear Solid movie, imagine Sean Bean's getting on a bit now, but you can He's... still do action. You can still do action shit though. Sorry, you can do all and also, sure, yeah, Sean Bean would have to die. To yeah. Why didn't you tell me? Um, about well, the... Metal Gear Solid Four, me. If they did a plot for that, that's. Uh... If they did the, yeah, well, he kind of. Yeah, all right. <laughs> I didn't want to say too much. <laughs> Literally, I think you could say anything about a metal. You could reveal any plot line or any like plot detail in a Metal Gear Solid game, but it still wouldn't explain it. It wouldn't really spoil it because there's that many twists in it. Yeah, exactly. There's so many silly things that happen on the way. Yeah, can't say I've faced that many Metal Gears before, but I think we can deal. No way we can deal. We can because we have no other choice. How? That's the sort of I shit Snake says. That's why missiles. Snake's cool. Oh yeah, Olga <laughs> left this for you. Oh, that's where you get the HF blade, the high frequency blade. Yeah, yeah. Which you don't have to use. Nah, but, but it's awesome. It's cool. It's kind of easy. Some, in some ways, it's easier for the solidus fight to not use it why? just to punch him because the Olga controls are a bit awkward, you. and you Besides, just get introduced to it right at the end of the game. Blades. You do get a chance to practice with it a little bit before. This is a bit through. foreboding as well, isn't it? Yeah. For uh, Metal Gear Solid 4 and for obviously Rising else, yeah. Vengeance. Move the right stick up and down to make a vertical slice and left and right to slice parallel to the ground. Move the stick in a circle to do a rotating cut. Useless. That is useless, Push that move. Forward to lunge and strike. R3 forward. Oh, just press R3. Right. If you have the L1 yeah. button pressed down. You should be able to deflect a bullet or two. That's quite <laughs> handy. If you, I believe, if you press, um, if you press square, it'll flick the blade, the blade over and use the blunt side, so you can use the blade as a non-lethal weapon. Yeah, there you go. If you thrust it, it'll still kill people. Now you've obviously killed so many people already. I don't really know if it makes a difference at this point in the game. This isn't a non-lethal run. I can yeah. Tell you. What what has actually massacred. changed? It's not actually changed anything. It's it's a one sided blade, so he's using the other side, he's using the ah, blunt side. Oh clever. Fuck okay. it. <laughs> right. Yeah, so there Don't you go. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, like he said, if you run with L1 held up, you'll hold the blade in front of him and deflect a couple of bullets, which is quite handy. But I believe you've also got all your guns and stuff in this bit. It's up to you what you want to use. Obviously, it's just giving you the blade, so it's like... Yeah, I'll, I'll... I always use the sword, just for fucking shits and giggles. Come on, time to go. I want to play with the sword! <laughs> if you run out of ammo, you can have mine. You got enough? Absolutely. Infinite ammo. <laughs> <laughs> what? I forgot yeah. about that. Snake. Uh, first game, if you one. complete it under a certain time... I think it's like... No, no, it's um, it's if you save Meryl in yeah, the torture it. chamber, you get the infinite ammo bandana what? for a replay. Oh, that's, that's if you, a if you, fourth wall thing. That is yeah, yeah. Talking. If you let Meryl die, you get the stealth camo, Sometimes which is better than the, the difference between thingy, reality but obviously and the you get the bad ending to do that. Sense of reality, huh? <coughs> VR I like that. That's, that is really no. cool. Actually. Yeah, that's yeah. very topical. When I was a kid, I lied Diminished sense yeah, of reality in VR. Definitely. It's not VR that's doing this to me. Raiden, we don't carry guns to take people down. We're not here to help some politician either. You can say that because you're a legend, a hero. I'm Jack the Ripper, a dirty reminder of a terrible mistake. Legends don't mean a whole lot. I was just a name to exploit, just like you. 
people will remember only the good part, the right part of what you did. There's no right part in murder. Not Whatever. ever. And we're not in this to make a name for ourselves. <laughs> yes, what are you and Otacon fighting for? A future? Get and stop being part of a mistake. Whatever! Now. Really what am I? What am I supposed to do? You know what you're supposed to do? Give me fucking control of the cool new blade that you've given me. And find it for yourself. And stop talking. Do, pass it on to the future. Yeah, so now it's time to what? smash up a load of Arsenal Ten Goose with your sword. Come on. Yay! Also, this is where Snake is ridiculously like badass as well, because he's just fucking shooting guys left, right, and center like it's fucking nobody's business. Otacon, you all right? Yeah. So are all the hostages. That's good news. How's everything on your end? All yeah, right Captain now, Otacon with his parrot. Something. Ah! The colonel's last transmission. It was strange. Strange? How? Just strange. No idea. Interference? I don't know. Where is this colonel? I don't know. I've never met the man, actually. I'll dig around. Thanks. I owe you one. If there's anything else, not yet. You don't. The codec. I might be able to help. He hasn't found the anything. The frequency is 141.12. I don't know if you need to call Otacon, but yeah. I don't want him fucking crying you. at me anyway. He'll call you if it matters. First time in the game that's happened, by the way. See the enemy runs off. Yeah, they always just shoot you normally. Oh, um, you have to. What? No, I think you have to just try and go forward to the end of this room and just just keep going forward, basically. The snake will follow you. Like, he'll follow your lead. If you move up, he'll move up as well. Aye, aye. And I say, Snake will do a lot of your killing for you as well. He will take dudes out. Ow. Yeah, he's totally fucking going everybody down, isn't he? I know he's not shooting at him. Oh my he's god. He's obviously the dangerous one here. Oh, yeah, yeah I, no, no. I would be shooting oh, at Snake. <laughs> he's the one doing all the damage. Yeah, I forgot how creepy this music is as well. Get up then. Oh my god. Wow, this is elite gameplay styles. Get in there! Get in there. A, a snake saying, fucking do something! <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, you got swords. Yeah, they've all got swords. Well, not all of them. Quite a few of them have. Oh, fuck you. Ah, fuck this sword. <laughs> the sword is quite hard to use, yeah. Oh, mate, don't spend an hour putting it away. It's got to look cool! Guess maybe you should try putting a sword in a scabbard on your back sometime, you'll realise it's quite difficult. Yeah. It's quite oh, yeah, because computer games are accurate representations of real life. Well, it's quite, yeah. it, is, it is very practical to wear a sword scabbard on your back. That's why no swords would ever actually did that. <laughs> Apart from maybe like two handed. You can't take it sword. out! Yeah. And there's, there's also, there's, there's in, um, in, in like fantasy novels and stuff, they talk about shrugging the shoulders to throw the sword out, but you can't get it out! Oh! Oh, Snake died! Oh no! You need to do better, Chris, otherwise Snake will die. What's going on? Snake! <laughs> mm. Snake! <laughs> there you go. Snake! What, really? I... Oh. You what? Nothing. Yeah, that's the real one. That was the real game over. Yeah. Didn't say fish and mail. Said fish and mail. Don't fall behind. Don't fall behind. Dude just fell off the balcony. Yeah, that should have had a, uh, a Wilhelm scream on it. <laughs> yeah. It. Ah! 
Do any of these games use that sound, actually? No. Uh, Follow me. Do you know what? I don't think you hear it that much in games. It's really a movie thing, isn't it? It is a movie thing, but I, I think I have heard it in games. I've heard it in some weird movies, though. They use it enough. One of the dogs makes a sound. Yeah. That's totally, like, deliberate, though, isn't it? That's one of the jokes they put in there for, for people that would, would spot it, you know? Yeah. Like, every every Star Wars has it in. Yeah. All six of them. And I, if they've got any sense, they'll put it in Star Wars 7 as well. Every, uh, every recent Peter Jackson movie's had it in as well. Yeah. In fact, does a Lord, a Lord of the Rings have it in? Like, yeah. But it's quite quiet, so you can barely hear it, but it's there. Um... No, it's quite prominent, actually. Is it? It's, it's in, in all, all Lord of the Rings, uh, all the Hobbit movies. All the Indiana Jones films, which yeah. stops George Lucas again, so... Oh, I wish it would duck when I ask it to. So yeah, when you get to this bit of the room, you have to take out all these guys, and eventually, when they're all dead, you can go through to the next pit. At least Snake's doing a lot better health-wise than he was the first time around. Yeah, this is the thing about the guys with these swords, they can deflect some of your bullets, but they can't deflect when you've got a sword. So against the sword guys, the sword is better, you know what I mean? Can you get a grenade up there or something? Just doing my fucking yeah, you've got enemy. a grenade launcher. Fucking shoot him with that. You can't use it against Metal Gear Ray anyway, so just fucking blast them fools. If, oh, I can't do it behind there, obviously. Ooh, That's right, Snake, oh, run in front of me, you fucking knobhead. I thought it was supposed to be a legendary soldier, Snake. That was fucking schoolboy error, that, mate. Schoolboy error. That was that was AI partner error number fucking one, that, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. That one standing in the doorway that you want to go through, just blankly staring at you. Oh, yeah, the range on this is amazing. Don't fall behind. Yeah, don't fall behind, Chris. Says before following you. Yeah. yeah. Spray with Doolan. Get out of the way! <laughs> he has no idea what he's doing, Raiden. Oh shit. Yeah, I forgot you got body armor. You'll be using that. Oh. That's more like it. Yeah, that's a bit better. Teamwork. Ah! <laughs> I just stood up and he fell over. Oh, they don't, they don't just deflect them, they actually put, aim them back at you as well. Quite cheeky, oh. that. Who? That's a bit of a, a Jedi move, isn't it? <laughs> so many soldiers. Uh, you just meant to fight them here until they run yeah, you out. Have to keep, you have to keep fighting them until there's none more left here. Not more left. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you both can't go at the same time then. Oh, mate! <laughs> you have to protect him as well, then, yeah? <sighs> it's like another crappy escort mission. Not really, but kind of is. Yeah. Follow me. Well, I don't really have any other advice to give you other than. You can maybe better. try using the sword, sword again, because I always use the sword. But if you're not going to do it, then you just... You can't get close know. to them with the sword, though. That's a problem. Well, you can. 
You, if you hold up L1 with the sword, it deflects a couple of rounds, so you can actually get up to them. Well, that's exactly what I was doing, but it was just shooting me. Oh, come on. It doesn't deflect every single bullet, but it does help a little bit. Ooh. I look terribly to... censored there. <laughs> you have to get <laughs> your... Uh... It's about also about getting your timing right of when you can hit them before they hit you. It's in melee Don't combat. Shish kebab. See what I mean? Like, if you just get them, it's just that it's quick. It just fucking kills dudes really quickly. There we go. Apart from the dude, apart from the dude that's up top, but then Snake will usually take those out anyway. He, his health is pretty low though. Oh mate! What the hell? Will you not take rations? Yeah. He can't, he can't drop them. Oh, he can't now. That might be it. Yay! Oh, I'm chuffed for that. Yay! Yeah, there is another big fighting bit coming up. I found out where he is. Where? Inside Arsenal. <gasps> what? I've checked out all the possibilities, the? but I keep coming back to Arsenal. It isn't a relay point. It's the origin of the signal. Hmm. And the encryption protocol it uses is exactly the same as that of Arsenal's AI. The so-called GW. What the hell does this mean? I think it means you've been talking to an AI. That's uh -huh. impossible. The Colonel probably isn't GW per se. GW was most likely stimulating cortical activity in the dormant part of your brain through signal manipulation of your own nano machines. The Colonel oh, like like filling a balloon and popping it. However, back for it to adjourn a balloon. That's crazy, <laughs> but it's probably the truth. The virus may be starting to affect GW. I can't even get quotes Colonel that you said ten seconds ago right. Can I? What is wrong with me? You named two of your cats well, after Futurama snake. characters as well. Doesn't mean I know Futurama off the, off by heart. What I do know <laughs> you can remember, you can remember the two words Fry and Leela. Yeah. Flesh and blood. <laughs> I bet you misspelled Leela with like an O or something. <laughs> <laughs> Fry, <laughs> fries with a PH. <laughs> in true, in true Futurama Fry style, though. Yeah, yeah, that would be. That's the sort of thing Fry would do. You love it. You love the codex interruption. I've fucking had enough for codex now. It's the best thing ever. I'm glad the codex a lot more in um, interesting in in three. It's a trap. You know, we've yeah. uh, been able to get codes from bosses, uh, enemies, and stuff. Enemies, yeah, yeah. It's a trap. Since the colonel doesn't exist, there's no way he can take Rose hostage. Yeah, you're right. I am right. Okay. Uh, does Rose exist? Don't be weird. Do I exist? Sure. Don't be weird. <laughs> What? It's a bit late for that, isn't it, is really? That I partly dreamt up, then everything I remember about her could be... Don't jump to conclusions. You and Otacon are the ones oh, that say the Colonel never existed. Right? Oh, my Come on. Was Come on, Snake. About? Give us some positivity here. Stop telling us what we can't do. It wasn't full a minute ago. God damn it. Ooh. Pretty. Can't say anything. It's all the video's gone crap. Seeing a giant frying pan. Yes, that's exactly what it is. A frying right. pan. A wok, maybe. You've gone all crap as well. Yeah. Cheers, Skype. Yeah, I lost, I lost everything for a second there. Then it came back. So this is just another big room of, of death fighting guys till they stop coming. Should push yourself. Oh, 
was that? Oh. That's the fake one. The fake death. Fishing males. Yep. Emit! Oh. Yeah, again, this is the sort of stuff, the first time you play through it, it's really fucking confusing. Because you're already, like, trying not to die with all these guys shooting at you. Yeah. Really That's weird. a nice, nice bit of fourth wall, though. Definitely. Mate, let me sh kill someone. Yeah, I quite like that this game definitely pushes the band. Like, it, it blurs the line between Raiden as an avatar and Raiden as a character. Like, it's it, it is a fucking mind job. Say something, Chris. Whoa. Say something. Yeah. Why? You. Because every time if you, you don't talk, quiet, it becomes game, really loud for us. Yeah, the game just creeps up. Oh, that must be Skype yeah. going mental for fun. Maybe. It does it, it's been doing it Stop this whole thing. Snake, Jesus. <clears throat> Hopefully, it's not doing that on the recording as well. Yay, you killed them all. They're all dead. It's not changing for me up and down, so it must just be Skype doing it. Skype, yeah. Well, I've watched it, I've watched a couple of the videos back, and they've always the volume's been pretty consistent on that. It's just us on Skype. Here she is again, crying ravens or something, whatever she does. <laughs> crying electricity or something. <laughs> electricity ravens, one of the two. Electric ravens. That'd be easier than just normal ravens. Been taken yeah. from me one by one, and no matter how hard I try, I can't follow them. Oh. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. <laughs> I thought we'd seen the end of her. To be fair. Nah, she's got like a fairly difficult bit later on as well. Obviously, that's, that's exactly... exactly what I'd do with immortality. That's it. They said that a quote from Superman. Looks like pick. You go on ahead. <laughs> probably not. I think that was probably sarcasm that I missed, wasn't it? There's a little bit of sarcasm, yeah. <laughs> it's like that. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> See you later. I do like how Snake's just what totally not intimidated by her as well. <laughs> No I'll think of something. She's just no a fucking villain. <laughs> it's way too provocative that uniform, isn't it? Yeah, it's not really a military uniform. It's like a mankini. But for a woman, wonder what they call that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I meant specifically the crotch bit. You know, on mankini. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the sort of yeah. Shooting. Electricity and smoke. Yeah, so this, this whole it? this whole area is kind of crazy. Because here's the thing, you look at this area here, and the size of GW and where the Metal Gears were, this can't physically be real. Like this area is too big. And to plus look at the sky. There. This is, yeah, there's an open sky above you. It looks like you remember the way you used to kill in the old days. Or is it one of the S3 plan's proud achievements? What are you mm. talking about? It came as a complete surprise when Ocelot discovered the S3 data from GW. Not a bad idea, though. Using now then, the just while, while this guy's talking before this fight begins, do you remember the way to take down these Metal Gear Rays? No. Right, S3 they've got three, I think it's three lock-on points on them. Their knees, they're on the legs, have a lock-on point. And their head, now their head is the only part that will take damage. However, if you hit them in the knee and then hit them in the head, it takes off loads of damage. So your technique is knee, head, knee, head. Um, and then just try and get the rhythm of their attacks. And They've got similar attacks to Metal Gear Rex with like missiles, machine guns, lasers, that kind of thing. But I've made use of you, and their plan, too. Solid Snake's sudden appearance, your arrival, it was obvious the Patriots were among my ranks. 
I had to smoke out the I love it with some of this because like, could you just stop doing that whilst I'm talking to you? It's really weird. <laughs> I'm getting quite fast with that. Yeah. I just gotta fall over dizzy. Those days of the Civil War were as real as they come. Every day was absolute. Split between life and death. death. Get a bit of trading in. You ran from it. And now you've been brought back to war by some yeah. Montage! Less than real. Montage! Bit of a spin before the cutscene. Fucking Solidus, what a twat. No more games, Jack. At least you know. Now I must destroy you. There's no reason to keep yeah. you alive now. Exactly, yeah. There's no reason. There was a reason before, uh, but now there isn't. There we are. I've given you a worthy opponent, at least. But now, you should die. The little Jackie boy I once knew. That's right, go at him with a SOCOM. Yeah. Rocky. Here we go, Jeez, there's the Kaiju, what? or what they call them. Yeah, a little bit of Kaiju. It's well before. Well. It's stick of time, baby! So, yeah. Knee head, that's the tactic. You got it. Nailed it! Look at how much damage that takes off. Like if you shoot him in the if you shoot him in the head directly, it's not very much. Bear in mind he's gotta fight a lot of these guys. It's not just one, it's like a lot of them. On extreme difficulty you have to fight all twenty-five of them. I think on normal it's like ten or something. It's fucking this fight goes on forever in extreme. It's really like an endurance test. It really is. Pistols? Nice. Oh. Ouch. Ouch, oh. you bastard. Oh, oh, oh. They broke ah. also. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking knee, ah. you bastard. That's him done. That's it. Now, get one of the other ones whilst he's, like, waddling off. I just keep attacking them, basically. Thanks for that. Obviously. I thought we avoid the missiles, that goes without saying. I assumed, really. I assumed that... Oh my god. Yeah. Um, I assumed that you saying that meant that they wouldn't attack me for a second. No, I just meant it's a good window of opportunity before one of them jumps up onto the centre. But they keep attacking... Well, see, if I three at a time... They don't, they just do not let up. Yeah, there's only there's, there's two at the sides and one on the platform at any given oh. moment until the end of the fight. Jesus, they take a lot of damage off. They do, yeah. The knee rockets are the worst ones. Wish I had knee rockets. I'm glad I don't have knee rockets. They're quite handy. I'd quite like, I'd quite like knee rockets. Quite handy in a lot of situations. You're both wrong. Well, that's just like your opinion, man. Yeah. Ooh, nicely dodged. Okay, so as that one waddles off. Oh, oh, oh dear. Oh, 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 oh. Ah. Get stamped on, don't get stamped on. Ah. Oh, water laser thingy. Fucking yeah, it's those missile sort of attacks. You have to constantly, like, Get a shot off before those bloody missiles hit you. Twenty-five oh, of them you have to fight. You the don't reason... have to fight all twenty-five. No, not I'm... on the setting. Yeah, but you would do if it was. You do on the extreme. Yeah, <laughs> it's ridiculous. Get him! Get him! Yeah. This is so far going a lot better than the Metal Gear Rex fight. That's for sure. I was just going to say, they're a lot easier than him. Yeah. Yeah, Metal Gear Rex to loads of fucking Whoa. damage. Oh, fucking hell. Could do with some rations. I don't know if there are any more. I don't know if um, they're around the edges or is that just ammo? You might as well just make do with what you've got. 
No. Oh, 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 Jesus. oh, 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 it's such an onslaught of just relentless attacks that just don't let up. There's one. I knew as soon as I got down to one ration, there'd be one spawn. Oh, piss off. Yep, right where you're getting well, shot from the water, Should have seen that coming, really. <laughs> if I was a Metal Gear Raid, that's what I would have done. Yeah! I don't know if they keep respawning the rations, though. Like, there might be a finite amount. Oh, piss off. Get it, get it, get it! Ah. Bosh. Yeah, when you've like killed enough Metal Gear Rays, the cutscene all will start and it'll go to the next I bit. think there's only... Shit. There's another, another Rashiani. Oh. oh, yeah, you see. That's how you do it. <laughs> yeah, those like those like homing rockets. You have to dodge at the right side, but you have pretty much every time, so it's cool. Look at that item skills. No, get up! Oh, Jesus. No. Yeah. Uh. In the face. You big silly hey, robot. Nice. Yeah, so I believe the one that's taken the most damage on the side is the one that will jump into the ring with you, I guess you're going to call it that. Oh, nice, nice. Oh, damn it. I didn't hear that one. E rockets inbound. Oh! <laughs> oh. Shit, jump too quick. Damn. Oh. That's good, because you've got to start that all right again. I was only a couple of way then, I reckon, as well. Yeah. I'm going to blame my headphones. If they had stereo no. sound, it wouldn't have been an issue. Right. Now I've got... Oh. Oh. Pockets. One more. Yeah. Constantly, just constantly coming. I thought this one would have jumped into the ring with you by now. That middle one. Obviously, he just thinks he's a bit hard, doesn't he? I think you got to do a certain amount of damage before he does, because he didn't come in until he was damaged last time. There you yeah. go. Coming in now. He's, he's jumping in. Nice. Shit. I was hoping I could get that in then. Yeah. It's so tricky to think, like, how long have you got before you really need to move. I can't believe he hasn't jumped into the middle yet, that's really weird. Well, I'm taking advantage of it, bugger it. Yeah, it's easier when they're not in the middle, so... Yeah. Happy days. Stop fucking shooting me. Nope, nope, move. Stop it with the rockets, you big silly robots. Almost yeah. rhymed that, Sam. <laughs> yeah, sort of. Do him! 
Uh, uh. <laughs> this one's going down. He did. No! Uh. Get up! Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, the water lasers. Gotta avoid the water lasers. You're just shooting randomly at them now, aren't you? No, I'm getting him. He shot his head though. Yeah, but it still takes off some damage. I mean, this, the, the Stinger missile rounds will endlessly replenish, so you don't have to worry about them. Shit. Firing shit at me. No, no! Oh. <laughs> I did that. I didn't see it coming. <laughs> they, they pull those out on you with like, no warning. This is why we need knee rockets, Chris. Yeah, exactly. Well, so we can fire knee rockets at people without warning. Yeah. So you can retaliate, yeah. Like someone disses you in the street, you just. Bend your knees a bit and fire rockets at them. And some knee rockets, yeah. Don't even have time to react. That'll teach them for saying something unpleasant to you. Yeah. When they've had their legs and arms blown off. <laughs> <laughs> Here he comes. He suggesting it might be an excessive treatment. <laughs> no, people need to have fucking manners. There's a there's a massive deficit of manners and uh, to do with it being redressed. And that's what this game is all about. <laughs> Manners. Yeah, that's what it's really about. <laughs> just, to, just to try and tie that in. <laughs> the whole That'd game be a cool idea. Treating your cool mother one. right. Yeah, it'd be a cool idea for a game where it's just about having good manners. <laughs> but then anyone who doesn't have good manners gets like a severe retribution. Like a ridiculous thing. Get your head chopped off if you don't say excuse me <laughs> when you go through a door or something. <laughs> What See, that's quite cool how you could like fire one off and then get the lock on afterwards and the missile will then home in. Yeah. That's quite handy. That's one of the leap techniques for fighting these bosses. You're chomping through the oh. uh, this is this is the rhythm I was talking about. You gotta like get the the timing of it down. Move, 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 shit, move! Shit, 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 move. shit. It's alright. Fucking owning them. You are a bit. So they're not numbered normally, are they? They've sort of got weird code names, so I don't know how many five. you've actually gone through. Well, there's six to be increments, so he's gone through four, I think. Kill four. What's that one? RO, RO5. Is that ROS? Is that Rap Side Roads? There's A0, 1, S. Is B zero one F B zero two F and so on. Okay. There you go. B zero three F. Yeah, and also if you notice then when they're doing that sucking up the water thing, if you hit them when they're doing that, it takes off loads of damage as well because it's the heads open. See, if I was to design a metal war robot, I wouldn't give it a weak point head that opens to get rockets shot at. I mean. No, I just make massive spheres covered in guns. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the it's not the expendables logo, basically. <laughs> I've lost it. I've lost me me rhythm. It's doing all right then. It's okay. I say the best time to get him is when one of them stumbling around about to leave the, the stage. Because you can just keep twatting the other ones. Whoa. This oh. must be it fairly soon. There you go. Oh, yes. <sighs> um, right, it's not even the last boss little, battle. <laughs> there's a little bit more of the last boss battle. Do you want to do it all in this one? Because remember, there's a lot of fucking codex and cutscenes as well. 
What do you reckon? How how much do you reckon there is? Because what I, are we on? I, I'm not We're... even joking. There could be another hour's worth of Battle Gear Solid 2 left to go through. Do you reckon we call it a night then, and then uh, do the rest? Yeah. We'll yeah, get, get to, to the next save. point that you can save. I think it, after these next bits of cutscenes, you can save it, and then it's the, the last fight, the last big punch up. Wee! Yeah, you're not really gonna do much, Olga. You're not wearing a skeletal body armor suit. Olga, don't do this. They'll know. <laughs> they already know. Why do I feel like this is gonna go the same way that the first one went when someone came in and tried to interject with a boss battle? You're not entirely incorrect <laughs> in that feeling. <laughs> The child. So you troops out to me. So many dead, and they all died trusting you. Were he said that like, in a really accusing way, didn't he? Yeah, it's like, yeah, so he said they sold them out to me. So who's responsible for being dead? You, <laughs> you fucking one-eyed beardy bell end. You fucking pseudo clone. <laughs> Pseudo snake, that's what his name should be, not Solidus Snake. He's actually very forgettable, Solidus. I totally forgot he existed before we started playing this. Yeah, because for all of Liquid's, like, shitness, at least he's memorable because he's so silly. He's so he's terrible. So memorable. Brother! It's like so over the top. We're clones, yet we are so different, therefore you must have a different accent to me. I have all the recessive genes! Although I am actually the good one. <coughs> Whatever. Dead. Dead Let's ass. Snapped. Let me pick her up and throw her or something now. Uh, I think he does a bit, yeah. Oh, is that, am I thinking about, um, no. That's right. Yay! Hey, <laughs> hey. Ugh, disrespectful. <laughs> like, killing her isn't disrespectful. Well, there's killing somebody, then there's how you treat their corpse afterwards, right. I guess. Enjoy the show, Jack. I always treat corpses with respect where we left off. and love. Is that being your teabag with the computer games? <laughs> <laughs> oh, is he going to spaz out in true Metal Gear? See, this, see, I don't get this bit because physically, like, for this, com this Metal Gears, where the hell are they on Arsenal Gear? Like, this whole fight, where the hell does it happen? It's, it's, it's really spooky weird. Boss arena. Yeah, it's very much the case of like, well, this is part of the plot, but does it really happen? Yeah. It's really confusing to me, this this section. I still don't quite get what's going on, even though I've seen it many times. Because these, these Metal Gears are obviously being corrupted because the, Ars the Arsenal GW thing's being corrupted by Emma's, like, virus. Ocelot, what have you been up to? It's too late. Arsenal system control is going haywire. It's on an emergency ascent course. We haven't seen Arsenal yet, really, have we? Sorry, I lost you guys for a second again there. I was going to say, you didn't respond. We haven't seen Arsenal yet, have we? Uh, we're in Arsenal. That all that bit was in Arsenal Gear when I find him was naked. This is all in Arsenal Gear. Yeah, but we haven't you... seen it, as in. No, if you remember when the big the shell was, was falling before, you saw a big shadow under the water. Yeah, yeah, I, I know, I know, I, I remember what it is, but. I mean, it is a very large um, vessel, but large enough to have this area in it. That they're in now, inside it. He needs to take that shield off his face. You can't see anything. Mm. Apart from he can see everything. But it doesn't matter because he looks cool! You know what? You know what my cool. question is, right? Instead of making all of these Metal Gear rays, why don't you just make loads of that suit? Because he just fucked the loads of them up, didn't he? Yeah. That's a... Uh, yeah, the, the, the cyborg ninja suit-y dudes always seem to be better than the Metal Gears. I mean, look at Ryder in Metal Gear Solid 4. 
fucking hell. I haven't. We'll get to that, oh, no, to no, it. it's four, yes, sorry. But I then, haven't the, played the Rising shit, yet. The, the shit that he does in that. I mean, in Rising as well, he does some crazy stuff. Are we going to do Rising, by the way? I. Not that I don't think it's a good game. I don't know if it's it's so. It's not this genre. It's not a stealth game. It's nothing. No, it's no, a I mean. Of, the reason, only reason I say slashery. it is because I haven't played it at all yet. I've got it. It's a good, but I it's a good it. fun game. Like I don't, because you you don't really like that kind of game, though, do you? That much? No, I don't generally like hack and slash, but I was going to give it a go because it's Metal Gear. That's the only reason. Yeah, yeah. I, then again, I do enjoy. But you like so, Vanquish, I mean, I, though. Vanquish it? was awesome. Vanquish was there was something really, really interesting about that. It's five platinum, same guys. So it's, yeah, yeah. But right. It's not shooting it's sword play anyway. That'll do, I think. Let me just yeah, pause it. the next part should be the last part for this. In fact, it has to be. We'll make the last part the last part. Are you awake yet, Jack? Alright. Oh. Shut up, Solidus. The AI is corrupted beyond repair. Good. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> right, so yes. Um, sorry we haven't finished it this week, but we'll uh, hopefully be able to finish it next week. Um, thanks for watching, everyone. Bye from us all. Bye-bye.